Hello everybody and welcome to another one take where I take something off the screen, off the page, or out of my head and we talk about it in the moment. And today it's uh, out of the box, in the box, a little of both. It's more Funko stuff. I mean, let's just get that right off the bat. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. I know, because I'm not unboxing them this time. No, these I purchased already. And we're going to talk about why in a second. Because I'm really interested in the collectible game. I'm really interested in like the, the collecting world, you know, buying, selling, keeping things sealed, you know, opening things up when it comes to like trading cards or Funko Pops or, or anything like that. I just recently learned that Legos were investable. I'm not buying Legos, but I'm just saying, although now that every time I say Lego, I think of Egos and now I want waffles. He goes, Lego, my ego. And, you know, you can't eat Lego, so I'm going to stick to buying my egos. <laughs> Anyways, so I've just been fascinated about how these things, you know, whether they're like children's toys or, you know, wherever you categor categorize them as, you know, collectible items, action figures, investable products, trading cards, you know, what, I mean, there's just so many different facets to all all of this stuff it's ridiculous and that's why it makes it so interesting because there's so many different ways to do it people just buy and sell them people buy hold on to them and sell them later people just buy them because they like them people buy them because they're interested in a specific like line or you know movie or you know marvel or disney or this or that it's it's so and then let alone just going out and trying to find like new ones or ones you haven't seen before and just the whole kind of idea of like looking for things like grails, which are pieces that go up in crazy amounts of value. I mean, some of these things, most of these pops are worth like, you know, on market value, 15 to 25, 30 bucks, something around those lines. But some of these things over time, because they're so, you know, collectible, they go up to a couple hundred dollars. Now I know these things dip and fall in price, just like everything else in any market not comparing this to any other, you know, financial market. I'm just saying like anything kind of dips and falls and kind of goes up and down, especially on hype when it comes to like things like this. So what I thought I'd do in this time around is, especially because the last like seven months has been exploding with me buying things I don't need, but things that I now want. And for that, sometimes you get so rushed into the hype, right? And you want to buy all and you just want to start, you know, collecting. Sometimes you pick up things you don't really need or you think that are really good and you find out, oh, I could have waited on something else. And some of these things you buy because of a deal. You know, sometimes there's clearance and this, that and the other thing. So what I figured I'd do long winded sort is take these pops that I'm not really interested in anymore and try and go into a local like, you know, pop store, Funko Pop store type deal and seeing if I can trade them in for something that I do want. Now, there's a couple different ways to like go about this and I'm kind of like trying to get like interested or go deeper into, you know, buying and selling and even trading. And I figure this would be a good first way to kind of learn like the industry and kind of give a first step into just acquiring something I want, utilizing, you know, the systems at hand. Now, of course, I do realize that this is kind of going to be like a um, in their favor type of deal because of course like I'm going to go trade these pops in of course they're you know commons or less valuable ones for something more valuable now of course they're going to have to resell these right it's like I'm not like I'm selling to somebody else who's going to just hold it in their collection so am I going to get the full value of what they're worth probably not even close but I figure since these guys might have something you know grails and things that I might want I can utilize some of these other pops that I may not have bought at full market price either or may have gotten through mystery boxes or things of that nature and trade them in for something that I do want. This way it saves me the time of trying to like, you know, find some somebody else to trade with, maybe trading off something I'm not ready to trade with because I just started. So these kind of pops are, are really easy. Like to give you an example, Desaad, uh, Shazam, and Khan, I bought for $10. It was a three for ten dollar deal. Bada bang, bada boom. This Iron Man, I really enjoy Iron Man, and I bought it 
strictly on the hype. I just gotten into it and I saw that on the shelf somewhere and I was like, mine got to have Iron Man. And I realized, oh, there are way more like exclusives and different ones and different variations from moments and things that I actually want. I found out this was the gamer verse. I don't play no games. Um, and these pops, hopefully trade them in. I know I'm not going to get full market price, but hopefully what I can do is trade them in for something I want. So it's time for part two, us to hit the road and go see what we can do. Plus, let's go see this awesome store because it is super ridiculous. And it's one of the biggest like pop stores in Colorado. All right, let's go. Hello, everyone. We are here. We're going to go do a trade of Funko Pops so that I can get a Grail. Also, so I don't spend money. I'm going to trade things so I don't spend money. Here are, ooh, I don't want to break that. Box of Pops. I had to put back Spider-Man and I picked up Sinestro and some other one. So let's go see what damage we can do. And Grails. And I'll try and show you the store because it's awesome. All right, bye. And we made it into the store. So while they're checking out and seeing what my pops are worth, I thought I'd walk around and check out this ginormous store. And I just, of course, couldn't get enough of it. I was overwhelmed. I was like, I want I want it all. Who cares what I'm trading in? I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy this. <laughs> my girlfriend's like trying to calm me down. I'm like, calm me down. There's a Sheldon Flash. There's a Hulk Blacklight. There was a Star-Lord from a Collector Core. There was Boba F I mean, there were just so many things where I was like, yes, 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 yes. And uh, I did wind up deciding. I only walked out with one. But oh my goodness, this is one of those stores where you could just spend so much time in. And this is like one of their like little grail cases that just had a bucket loads of fun. I mean, I'm just saying like, and this store had a bunch of other different collectibles and video games and just an awesome around, really cool store. Always have a good time coming in and looking, looking around. And uh, we were looking around and I was like, oh, there's another grail case, isn't there? And my girlfriend's like, ah, oh, there's, there's nothing over there. It's been pretty picked, pretty clean. And I'm thinking, really? Because, I mean, look at all this stuff. We haven't been here in a while, and they look like they have stocked up. So I figured I'd walk over there, and not to my surprise at all, because I knew she just... I was like, what are you talking about? There's no grails. Wait for this. Wait for this. Wait for this. Wait for this. Boom. Look, I mean, my goodness, it was Star Wars heaven. So what I figured was, oh, so there was nothing that you wanted to look at. And that's why you told me there is nothing in here, because there are some really cool grails of Star Wars and Scooby-Doo and all sorts of cool stuff. So I just figured I had to show this off because I was in know it was here. Look at that three thousand dollar boat, like insane. Anyways, this was a really cool store and I got what I wanted and I had to get out of there. Okay, we are back from that Funko store, and oh my goodness, what a rush. There was, I wanted everything. I almost walked out with everything. But, back to the trade. So, my Funko Pops came in at a $30 trade in value. So, with that, I was trying to stick around that range. I had a $10 coupon, so I was going to try and make it to about 40 maybe go a little bit over. And then, of course, as you do, you guys saw all those pops. There's so many to choose from. And I went a little bit outside my budget. But I think, honestly, altogether, I got $40 off. So I only spent 20 for the pop. It is a pop that is just so super cool. And we'll show it off right now here. We got the Tony Stark 2017 Summer Exclusive. He's holding this helmet. You know, just a fantastic... Oh, that was so good. And I just had to pick it up. So I think, you know, everybody won. And for a first time, just trying to get into the space of buy, selling, and trading Funko Pops, I think it was a good experience. You know, I learned a lot. And now as I can continue and have a little notch, you got to start somewhere. I can't go right down the rabbit hole and was trying to resell all those pops and then buy a, the pop outright. That could have could have worked. But this time around, we try to do a little bit beginner steps. So Hope you guys all enjoyed. Also, because we were so hyped on that pop, we went over and snuck around to another, uh, uh, well, we went to Target, and I was able to find the Boba Fett uh, Target Con exclusive, all red chrome. I'm just really in the Boba Fett, so I had to pick that up. But anyways, uh, I really enjoyed uh, doing this, doing this little trade-in, and it was a nice little learning experience for me, and I can't wait to see like how further down the rabbit hole I go. I know. Like always, I have a problem. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.